I want to go to the app. Yeah. What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to App Slug, the show where I look at Android apps on my Galaxy S5, and I know I need a new phone. That's a, besides the point. Uh, today, we're looking at Shooty Skies, which has apparently been out on iOS uh, since early October and just hit Android in the past couple of days from the creators of Crossy Road, but not from the company who made Crossy Road, which is Hipster Whale. This is from Mighty Games. Uh, I'd seen it this morning on the App Store and was like, wait a minute. This has, like, there are so many ripoffs in the App Store, it's hard to tell. Uh, but this one actually went and did the research. And this is actually from the guys who made Crossy Road. This is in, obviously, the same visual styling, uh, but in a different genre. It is a shoot-em-up, much in the vein of, you know, say, Gradius or, you know, uh, R-Type or any of those, you know, old-school uh, scrolling arcade games, etc., etc. We're not gonna uh, watch a video. We're just gonna hit play again. And, you know, in the same very much uh, quick-play addictive nature of Crossy Road, you know, very similar art style, sound effects, etc, etc. And I do like this genre of games, even if obviously playing it on a phone, on a touchscreen, is not the most ideal situation you would want an arcade stick, uh, or, you know, a D-pad at best. But, I do think this is pretty fun, uh, for what it is, uh, even if I find it to be a bit difficult, uh, with a touchscreen and just playing with your thumb. But this was made by two out of the three guys who worked at Hipster Whale on Crossy Road, uh, and I just died. And it has very much the same styling of uh, gameplay in terms of how you get the coin payouts and unlock new characters and that kind of thing. So it is good for a quick play. Yes, it is free to play, uh, but does not have the usual obnoxious free-to-play stylings that most games on the App Store have, so I enjoy... I'm gonna die there. That part of it, and you unlock stuff as you move along. So, we're gonna go back to the main screen here, and I will show you what that means. Uh, you can actually change your character. If you want to spend a dollar on each character, you can, but obviously the more you play, the more you unlock them, and, and certain characters do change the visual styling. So, the first character I unlocked, the only one I've gotten so far, uh, is... Uh, currently, there are 57 characters, and as you can see here, Vlad the Vampire has graveyard visual stylings, and that's always, you know, fun when they have the characters change how the game looks, and there are spooky skeletons. Obviously, it is past Halloween, but that's okay. It is too spoopy, which is not a thing that anyone should ever say out loud. It sounds terrible out loud, but, you know, saying internet memes out loud is just poor form, usually. But there are skulls and zombies, and, you know, it's a good time. So, yeah, I like this. It's fun. Uh, not my ideal way to play a game like this in this genre, but for what it is, I think they did a hell of a good job. And uh, in short bursts, certainly a fun little game. So, that being said, uh, I don't think you need really, really to see any more of what this is. You kind of get it. It is a side-scrolling shmup, as they say, uh, on... Android. It is Shooty Skies. It is available now on Android. Uh, it's been out on iOS for a while. Uh, it is free to play. And I am your host, Attack Slug. This has been App Slug, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.